hello everybody and welcome back to my learning space so i just filmed a video now which I, I probably have posted by the time you watch this one and i thought i'd actually remembered that i had some questions that i asked some of you guys to to ask me on ig i was like ask me a question and i had some questions from people um you know i was hoping that it was mostly music related questions but um, nonetheless I'm gonna ask answer some of those questions and um, yeah please excuse my horse or I don't know how you would describe my voice at the moment but um, I've been <laughs> recovering from illness oh my gosh I, I don't remember the last time I was sick but last week was pretty hectic for me I did a lot of waking up early preparing for stuff going to stuff rehearsals recordings in the morning and it was so cold so um after last week i definitely know that i caught a cold you know i wasn't even thinking that it's the c dot o dot i dot d i did i i definitely knew it wasn't that but i i knew that i had caught some type of a cold um but i'm doing well i'm recovering from that it's not nice to be sick you guys Please stay in good health, please, 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 please. Okay, so I'm gonna answer some of the questions. Um, I've written them all down, and I'm just gonna go through them. So let's let's actually start from the bottom. I'm actually I'm gonna just be random about them actually. Um, so Liam Peterson. So these questions are coming from Instagram and Facebook. Liam Peterson asks when was your love for music cultivated i definitely have to say it was at home luckily for me my father played and still plays jazz guitar he's a huge fanatic of jazz and he used to listen to a lot of jimmy lulu a south african guitar player you know like avidly so whenever i was with him i always had that sound in my mind and i think at some point he asked me if i wanted to to pursue music at school or would i be interested in doing that and because i felt like it was so natural for me like music was a part of my life my mother also loved listening to music and she still does like stacks of cds cassettes like up to here so it was such a natural thing for me um, naturally incl inclined toward the feel, the rhythm, the music. So it was, it was a, it was a yes for me. Let's do music at school, and I started music when I was in grade four, which is I was nine, turning ten, um, or eight, turning nine. I can't actually remember. Whatever it was, it was between eight, nine, ten, those years. Um, and I started on recorder, and then at some point I was like ma'am even me can i also play like you know double stave lines because i remember i had a recorder and i'd play the top line and then my teacher had an accompaniment part to accompany me and it was like triple cliff bass cliff and at some point i was like fam i'm so tired of playing one lines can i also be on some you know um and then i think it was great in grade five i was like enough with this recorder um my mother got me a keyboard from like a second hand keyboard a small casio those olden day ones you know those ones with the plugs that like to break um and i started just jamming reading the the, the bass cliff i was as i was reading treble cliff because obviously i didn't know the difference at the time and there'd be some notes that work and some that don't obviously because it's a different cliff which uh kaistro someone by the name of Kaistro. I didn't get the, the surname because it got cut off there on the IG thing. Which international artist would you like to collaborate with? I looked at this question and I, and I had to think about it. I, I, I don't know. Artists that I really like, like I would love to play. I wouldn't necessarily say like collaborate with. I haven't thought about that, but off the top of my head, I would love to play for Erika Badu, like as a pianist, you know, just to be on the keys in her band. I feel like that would be so awesome because I love I love her music. Um, I love how she um, 
experiments with different soundscapes um, and all those electrical and or electric and space sounds. I love her creativity with sound. Of course, we all know, okay, of course, I know who asked this question, Liz, um, how to be hip like Tembi. Um, I would say the answer to that is just be yourself. <laughs> Number eight is, okay, I'm just saying these randomly. Love your YouTube tutorials. Can you do one where your boyfriend is playing? This is from Muti Ashule. Um, no, it's my YouTube channel. <laughs> no, I'm joking. Definitely. I've actually talked to him a lot about that. Um, but he's always busy, so I don't know. Um, I'll definitely do a video or two or two of him playing, you know. Um, yeah, definitely. Why not? I mean, I feel like one of the reasons why I I love and admire him so much is because he does the same thing that I do. Well, not the same, but you know, he's also a keyboard player. So um, if I can get him, if if I can get him here, then there's no problem at all. Um, number four, uh, fair to say, Ingomayokolo is a Becky inspired tune how did it come about love your work this is from Camuelo. yeah uh definitely when it comes to that definitely you can say it's inspired by for sure um i mean i think i remember listening to there's a song of of Tatum Selego called Mirama. But it wasn't inspired by him. This song was more personal. Um, it was more of a personal song, really. Um, hence why it's called Jingoma Yokolo. It was a song for forgiveness. Um, so, yeah. Personally, I guess the title, but musically, definitely, um, that Begim Selego um, rings through in that. Maybe not for YouTube, but please play Straight No Chaser for me, a solo, even if it's an MP3. Okay, I'm just gonna do that now on my keyboard. Okay, let's see what I can do. Okay, so the last question is, let me take these off. Um, I think there's one, one more question. Um, playing Kamu Hello, same, same person. Are you playing? Okay, are you playing in Joburg anytime soon? Um, you know what? I really want to come and play in Joburg. Um, I don't know. It's timing for me. I guess it's like... You know what? I'm going to go play in Joburg. I will, I will come. 
I'm trying to plan some things, but with the world now, I'm just like, is there even a point? <laughs> like, ah, there's so much going on in my life, guys. There's really, really a lot going on in my life in terms of things that I need to get done, things that I'm just genuinely thinking about, and you know how it goes, life. So um, I do know at some point I will come to Joburg, although I'm not going to lie, it's not my main priority at the moment but um yeah you will be the first to know if i do uh go to job but in the meantime i do have a gig um here in cape town in long street on the 30th of june hopefully this video comes out before the 30th of june um i'll be playing music off of my album and some unreleased songs um yeah it's gonna be a quartet but the fourth person is a guitar the fourth musician is a guitar so no horns um mostly vocal music um and i just wanted that electric sound for the guitar and someone is also going to help me play some heads <laughs> yeah so that's that um you know if you have any questions i always enjoy answering music related questions um but yeah if you've got any questions and i'm willing to answer them I will definitely answer them. So, yeah, guys, thank you so much for for everything, really, because you have helped my channel get to 1,000 subscribers. Wow. Um, I never thought I'd see the day. But um, I'm super grateful. And please continue to like and share um, where you think someone might find the video useful. And um, <clears throat> keep giving me requests for videos um you know when some people give me requests but sometimes i have to like evaluate whether the whether it's useful um you know for the majority of people and for the direction that i see this channel going to you know um but i try my best to attend to all the requests like for some for instance some people will request songs that i don't know and then I'll just need to spend some time checking the song out in order for me to best explain the song. But um, more likely than, than not, I will get to all the requests at some point because, you know, I don't have that many requests. Um, so, yeah, I'll see you again in the next video. Peace. Bye.